Hey guys. So I haven't done one of these in a while. This is a monthly mentionables for June 2015. If you've been watching me for a while, then you would know that I used to do like monthly favorite videos. I was watching Gloss Galore on YouTube. She did a June 2015 favorites. She gave me a shout out. I'm watching it going, I forgot that these are kind of fun to look at sometimes. And so I thought I'm going to do one. The beard, in case you're wondering, Lori Lou Ellen on Instagram. She does some really fun makeup. She's a lot of fun and her hair looks like I want to put it in a sugar cone and eat it. She had posted a comment saying, rainbow beard, do a rainbow beard. And so that's what I did. I accepted the challenge. I may do a video on how I do this in the future because I had, um, I, I like to color my beard. I usually do just the blue because I just think it looks nice. And I have a fun story about my blue beard and um, making Felicia Day yell at me, um, which actually did happen. And it's kind of funny, um, but we'll talk about that another time because you're probably most curious about all the makeup stuff. Let's get started there. I have a variety of favorites in a box, things that I've been loving this month. I am going to talk about once more the Joan Collins I Am Woman body cream. This is the body lotion, but I also do have the perfume right here amazing smells so good so so good oh, and i love it i have been mixing this with amber just like a amber fragrance oil and it really kind of just beefs up the amber that's already in there and helps it to last and just be really warm on the skin i really like it it's been my sort of summer scent which is typically bronze goddess mixed with tom ford's tuscan leather also, I hadn't even heard about these when they launched, and I just decided to order them all. The Estee Lauder Pure Color Blush Sticks. I have all four of them here. I have posted pictures of them, but not swatches of them. Should I swatch them for you? So I'm not normally a cream... Did I do that right? I'm not... Oh my god, now I can't do this. I'm not normally a cream blush person. I usually just use lipstick, but we have at the bottom, going from the bottom to the top, we have Cheeky Rose, Pink Crush, Peach Rush and Blushing Berry. I have been liking Blushing Berry and Cheeky Rose the most. These two right here. I need to really go to the gym. Cream Blush is perfect for summer, for the warmer months. It's so nice. If you have dry skin, I love cream blushers. Again, I usually just use a satin lipstick, but these are just so, they've been so nice to have and just like throw in a bag, slap on. And I'm good to go. I recommend checking them out. And um, I'm gonna wipe off my arm now. I have a couple more Estee Lauder products. I have the Pure Color Envy Matte Lipstick in Restless. This just launched. So this is sort of a new like for me, but love the formula, love the color actually. And it's very orange red, I should show it to you. I have swatches of this on the blog, dustinhunter.com. You can check it out. The bullet is actually satin instead of glossy, which is kind of cool. And I'm really excited to see if they launch, and I, you know, of course they're going to, some more matte colors. The Lux Body Cream from Estee Lauder, which I was eyeballing when it launched because I love the packaging. It just looks really plain, which I just thought was really kind of pretty and understated. It has a very, 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 very faint rose smell that goes away instantly as soon as you put it on. Feels really nice. I took a chance on this because I just wasn't sure, but I really liked the package. And I have been using this all the time, all the time. And I love it. Arms, legs, everywhere. Every, not everywhere. Now, you've probably already seen these if you watch my videos, the Bessemer face brushes. This one and this one, still absolutely. I've been using these like crazy. This is so nice for, in particular, I'm going to talk about this in a second. Oh, if you fell on the floor. Um, the spray type foundations, you psh, and then, psh, and it's done. But you can watch my video on those and yeah, and watch it. Um, this is the Givenchy. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce this. This is the sort of bronzer version of where are the uh, spray spray foundations. I don't know what you want to call these. The Air Flash from Dior. Sephora makes one. These little, you shake it up and then you spray it. Don't spray it on your face, please. I know that the directions say to, but that's just ridiculous. Now, some of you may like to, and that's fine, but I don't. 
This is amazing. And this only comes in one shade. The hilarious, this is supposed to be a bronzer. This is, I have it all over my face right now. This is slightly darker than my own skin tone. And I have um, in Dior the shade 100, whatever name that is. It's one of the very light ones. Compared to these two, in my opinion, this has a lot more glow to it and it smooths the skin so much nicer. If they launched this in other shades, like if they made a full foundation range, I think that they could give Dior a run for their money because this is a really nice product. I have some drugstore stuff. These are the new Wet n Wild Color Icon palettes for summer. Look at these colors. Holy wow, I'm not gonna swatch them here because they stain. These are crazy. Not every single color in here is perfect, just so you know. But they're like, what, four bucks? Something like that? So for four bucks to even have one, one, even one that's good is worth it. My favorite one so far has been Boardwalk Boozing, this one right here. Really pretty, and this pink is so intense. Crazy. Wet n Wild also launched some lip glosses for summer, and it's just a sparkly lip gloss. It's like a dazzle glass. It's not sticky. It lasts for all of a half hour, but it's so pretty, and they're so cheap. Just get them. The pink one is my favorite, and the names, I can't put this back in the tube. I'm so excited. But this is my favorite one. It's just really, I'm gonna put it on. It's Vanilla, and the, um, hum, hum. I just love it. It's really pretty. Now, just the other day on Instagram, I had posted a picture of this pendant right here on Instagram. Did I say that already? Oh, I'm losing my mind. With a whole comment about how when you predominantly work from home, it's really easy to just sit around in your underwear and not really dress up. You don't put on your face. You don't put on fancy clothes. You just sort of start to live in briefs or a jock strap and you might throw on some sweats when you go to the store. One of my other favorites for this month, I went to see the Iris app full movie. It's called Iris. If you have the chance to go see it, go see it. It's incredible. I was looking for a movie about someone's creative journey and their uh, artistic expression, and I wanted to like latch on to that feeling and have it just envelop me, and that was completely a movie that did it. It's so much fun to watch her going through her whole collection, all these different pieces of jewelry and clothes. I started thinking about how I really just sort of sit around in like my underwear and do work at home. I don't really take the time to dress up or look special at all. And so I've been trying to remedy that with one of my favorite things, which is lots and lots and lots and lots of jewelry. When I was a kid, my parents would go antiquing. Uh, my dad collects, repairs, and restores old antique radios, and my mom would always buy old, ancient kitchen gadgets that looked like medieval torture devices. As soon as we would go into a place, I would make a beeline for the costume jewelry, the hats. I have a very petite noggin. And so old like ladies hats from the twenties with little veils and stuff fit my head. So I would always look at these hats. I would look at the jewelry and I still have a lot of it in a drawer. And so I have been picking a lot of it up and trying to make it a point to incorporate it into what I'm doing just so I feel dressed up and kind of fun and festive. Even when I'm just hanging out at the house or going to the grocery store. Now, also on TV, now we're, if you don't want to watch anymore, you don't have to watch anymore. I have been re-watching the Supernatural series. We went to the convention in March, the Supernatural convention in Seattle, which was technically Bellevue. I had so much fun and I'm going to do a video and talk to you guys about it. And I have pictures that I want to show and all kinds of fun stuff. So that will be coming at some point, but point of story, is I have been rewatching the series because I've just been, I don't know, having fun with it. That does it for monthly vegetables, June. Did I say vegetables? Month, I thought, I thought they was vegetables. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, please leave them in the comment section. Remember, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all at the Dustin Hunter. If you want to get my attention, especially on Instagram, I'm always on Instagram, hashtag the Dustin Hunter. I would love to see anything that you do, anything at all. That's it. Um, uh, uh -huh. <laughs>
until I see you next time, which will be soon. Um, I'm staring at my beard. Uh, take care and drive safe.